Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Bad Unboxing. This box is already uh, unboxed, uh, but there's a box within a box, so it's fine. It's gonna go smoothly as pie. It's called uh, an Action Tech uh, Coax Network Adapter Kit. Uh, turn down for what? Alright guys, as I'm removing this plastic coating, I want you guys to realize that one of the biggest dangers to children these days, and a lot of you are children out there, so I want you to know this, uh, one of the biggest dangers is suffocation. I, you, you think suffocation comes from, you know, uh, Casey Anthony? No, it's not going to come from Casey Anthony, alright? This is where suffocation comes from, alright? It comes from this right here. Let's see if I can break out. Mm. Uh. Kind of look like uh, Owen Wilson, like a like a young Owen Wilson, like a cute young Owen Wilson. Now, once that lesson has been learned, you simply move on to the coax network adapter kit, and you simply do it like so. Do it like so, and you'll be finished within minutes. Uh, fold the edges, and uh, this is the money shot. Oh, f party foul, guys! I just ripped the box right there. It's a party foul. Give me uh, minus minus points for that. Here's the real money shot, guys. All right. Okay. So here, here's the first Action Tech adapter, and uh, all all it is really is uh, just a little black box, kind of like a little black book, only for technology. Here's the next adapter. It is looks a lot like the first one. It, uh, it varies in different ways, okay? So we're gonna leave these two here, and then we're gonna bounce into the, the specs a little bit later on. Okay, the next thing we're gonna take a gander at is uh, the cable work. Uh, uh, we're gonna start off with the yellow ones. These yellow ones are uh, internet cables. These connect to your internet, and then from one internet side, it goes to the other internet side. So you, you got a whole... Uh, communal network there. These are these are connectors uh, and what you're gonna do with these connectors is you're going to attach them one port in and one port out. This is a spark plug. I'll uh, I'll take it out so you guys epic fail can know what a, the spark pug, pug, pug looks like. Okay guys we're gonna do a quick run through really quick. Uh, you just need to plug with the uh, connector into the back end now before anything even starts, we're already pretty good well off. Now once that's pushed in, it's going to stay right where it stands. Uh, now this is going to look very uh, asymmetric. That isn't important to uh, do it right though. It can also be not... It could be uh, very symmetrical. Um, and this is exactly what you want to see happening. I know how you guys operate. One of you motherfuckers is going to come out and you're going to say... Hi Dubs, why don't you just rewire your house with Ethernet? That would that would be faster. That would that would be more efficient and it would work better than than whatever you're doing right here. I Dubs, why don't you use fiber? Hey I Dubs, what if you just use some fiber in your house? Fiber is much faster than Ethernet. Fiber is much faster than coaxial cable. Well, the reason I'm not going to use fucking fiber and I'm not going to use Ethernet is because I'm not gonna rewire this fucking house. You're out of your fucking mind. It's built in 1965. The walls are made of concrete. The the fucking there's there's silverfish the size of lizards in my attic. Okay, I'm not gonna rewire this shit. And you know what? This is going to get me. Uh, this is this is gonna get me speeds of upwards of 270 megabytes per second. All right. That's plenty fast for my needs, okay? That's plenty fucking fast. Now, this is normally where I'd end the episode of Bad Unboxing, but I have a treat for you guys. This year at Comic-Con 2014, I was, I was lucky enough to uh, come across one of these lovely Homer the Simpson donuts, and uh, I just figured I'd you know, do a little goofing around for you guys. <laughs> okay, there it's said, guys. Hashtag every Simpsons ever. I'll remember to watch it on 821 on FXX. Watch on FXX and uh, then watch some Always Sunny in Philadelphia. But remember to wear your Simpsons sombrero. That's going to make it a much good, much good viewing experience. 
Now, when I went to Comic Con 2014, there was an 8 out of 10 booth babe that, uh, that gave me the donut. I had to play like a water squirting game. Uh, that's not sexual innuendo. It's just, it was a, a carnival game, and then everyone got one of these. And uh, when she gave it to me, I was like, what, what, is, what is this about? What is this for? What, is this, what does this do? And uh, the proper response, in my opinion, would be, it's an inflatable donut. Do whatever the fuck you want with it. But uh, she said, no, the idea is that you inflate it and, uh, you know, come, come August 21st, wherever the fuck the date is, uh, you're going you're gonna to sit on it. You're going to sit on it and you're going to watch The Simpsons Marathon while sitting on it. I want to see if I can pop it, okay? Like, it's neat, all right? It's neat. And I would love to, like, ship it to you one, to 20 of you guys internationally, but that seems like a, a, an egregious waste of my time. So instead of doing that... I'm just gonna pop it with my ass if I can, okay? Oh, frick. I almost sat on my nuts. All right, this is gonna be all my weight, all my weight. Oh, I, I did it, I popped it. There's like a weird like uh, 3D animation out there on YouTube somewhere where it's like how to flip a donut shape inside out. There, there you have it kids. All you gotta do is uh, twist it and shift it and then done. None of that computer animated bullshit. It's all fake anyway. It's not even real. This is real. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this episode of Bad Unboxing. I kind of sound like Mike Tyson, but a little bit more retarded right now. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to share with a friend. Remember to Facebook, Twitter, YouTube.com, right, Rado TV, and remember to tune in next time. Uh, and that's it. That's, that's going to be my new outro. Goodbye. Experience in many different ways. I guess it is potato. I don't know, I'm getting a rice cracker feel to it. Maybe maybe I'm poisoned for life and I'm going to get a rice cracker feeling from everything. But these, top of the line. Alright guys, we're getting really close to the end. This one is called Niru Niru Nirun, and it is a DIY candy kit.